first key is for you and your financial planning team to understand what investments produce different types of income and how that income is taxed. We must understand which investments are tax preferenced by law and which investments get punished with the highest tax rate plus the new 3.8% net investment income tax formerly known as the Medicare surtax and also state income tax like in the state of Tennessee where investment income and other unearned income get punished by Tennessee income tax of 6% after exemptions. Next, we must decide if we want to put your investment dollars in tax deferral accounts or keep money in taxable accounts. If we decide on tax deferral accounts, there are many more accounts available to you than you're probably aware. There's traditional IRAs, SEP IRAs, simple IRAs, Roth IRAs, there's 529 plans, and now there are very low cost, they're new, variable annuity products for one third of a percent, you can get money into uh, an account that's like, similar to, not exact, but like an IRA account. So these things are available. So the next thing is to look at the intersection between the types of income that is produced and the way it is taxed and the types of accounts. And this is what we call asset location. Asset location means when we diversify your portfolio and we use asset allocation and diversification, where do we place the different investments? A very simple example would be high yield bonds that are paying 6% interest and they produce 100% ordinary income that can be taxed at your highest rate, plus 3.8, plus 6% state income tax. These bonds should absolutely go into a tax-deferred account or a qualified account. Next is using low turnover strategies in taxable accounts because you can own fabulous mutual funds or ETFs that turn over their portfolio 30, 40, or 50% per year. And although you receive a great return on your investment statement, you will have to pay back the government on your tax return. And you may not even know that that's what's causing you to pay so much tax. Passively managed index funds and ETFs can make an even greater benefit in taxable accounts. Some of these tax preference investments that we discussed before our master limited partnerships, oil and gas MLPs, which have a, def a tax deferral mechanism in themselves, non-traded REITs, municipal bonds, rental real estate, when income is offset by a tax depreciation shield. Finally, many people are very giving of the resources they make, and there's absolutely a better way to give money to your church, or to your charity. And there are ways that can allow you a greater current deduction in high income years and for you to be able to give it away in the future, like donor advised funds, or working with an attorney to set up a charitable lead trust or a charitable remainder trust.